Hi guys. I'm back. Hello everyone. I am on my decor channel, so I apologize, but I do have some decor videos coming up. I have a few DIYs, some organizational stuff coming up, and uh, some DIYs because I am working on some DIYs. I have some videos, one video done. I can't upload it. I don't know why. Hi, Pam. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back. Welcome back, Susan, Lynn. Um... So I do have some cool stuff coming up. I just uh, haven't been able to upload it. I had updated my phone and then I don't know what the app is doing. But hey, Jennifer, how are you? Um, it's weird because my phone has. Oh, thank you, Pam. Hi, Gail. My phone has better clarity. Look at this. Now you can see the purple. Isn't that nice? Now you can see the purple I was talking about. Nicely made, brand new, much I know how much better. I don't like to come on this channel to sell jewelry because the decor people don't like that I do that. They will unsubscribe. <laughs> but oh, I'm sorry, you know, it's like sometimes I try and I try to go to my other channel, but if I have issues, I have to come on here. So I do apologize to my decor family. Anyways, this is 15. It's very pretty. It's brand new. Isn't that nice? Hi, Francis. Isn't the color better on here? I just love it. I love that the color and clarity is much better. So that one's 15. Okay. So, oh, I want to, Pam, I want to show you your watch. You might be able to see it better on here. Hold on, let me show it to you real quick. Hold on, let me put the backs back on. Okay. Let me show you real quick, Pam, because you can see the color better. Even with the light right next to me, it's very good. Oh, okay. Let's see, can you see that? Yeah, it's a little better. That light is just... I might be missing some of your comments. I did trip over my own pajamas. Oh, I do that all the time. Oh my God, I do that all the time. Or when Palazzo pants were in. Oh, gosh, Susan. Um, I, when, you know when Palazzo pants were in style or just wide leg pants, my high heel would get stuck in my pants when I would go downstairs. And I worked in a building and I would try to always take the stairs. I would literally fall all the time, like once a week. But I would catch myself. I'd always hold the railing. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god. I am a bit of a klutz anyways, but that is, uh, you can definitely fall with that combo. Hi, Gianna. Okay, now this is purple glass. It's all glass. It's really beautiful. Um, it's very long. I'll measure it in a second. And it's like a gunmetal gray. It does have an extender. So let's see here. Look how pretty that purple is. Oops. There we go. It's all glass, and then these are obviously are metal. Isn't that pretty? I think it's pretty. This one is going to be $6. Oh, 
Okay. Yep. Thank okay, thank you, Susan. Thank you so much. We are gonna switch gears uh to silver in one second. One second, one second. Let me just write this down. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. We're just going to call it purple glass necklace. Okay. Ooh. What did I say how much it was? Hi, Cindy. Happy New Year. You guys, I forgot how much I said. Oh, that's good, Susan. <laughs> How much did I say? I can always go back and read it. I'll just put a question mark by it. Oh, you're buffering? Shoot. Okay. Let me switch gears for one second because I do have a lot of fashion. We'll come back to some of the fashion. And I want to show a little bit of silver. Because I forgot to show this the other night. I couldn't find everything that night. That was part of my problem. Okay, where did I put it now? God. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Nope, that's not it. What? Where is it? You know... I swear to God, there are trolls in my house that steal things from me. Because <laughs> every time I pull something to show you guys, then, oh, here we go. I think this is it. No, that's not it either. Hmm. Okay, let me go grab it. I think it's across the way. Over there. Darn it. Hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. Hi, Roberta. Okay, I'll grab it back. Let me grab the silver. Oh, ow, oh, my knees. Sorry, you guys. My knees are really killing me. Oh. Killing me. Oh. oh, gosh. Really hurt my knees this time. Oh, okay. Ugh, I try not to think about it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, I'm going to pull this out first. And I literally pulled out. <laughs> I don't know what I do with things sometimes. Okay. Well, we'll show. Ooh, that looks nice together. Okay, let's show this together because I think it's beautiful. Now, I think this is silver, but I didn't test it. I forgot to. Um, it is vintage coral and turquoise, and it's beautiful. Did I miss anyone? I know. So nice to see you all, too. Let's see. Six. Okay. Thank you, Francis. Okay. Uh, no, that time I fell. Well, I fell twice. Once during a live, you guys didn't see it, but when I was getting my water in the garage, I crashed through like a little glass frame thing. But, and I can't believe I didn't get cut. But I, the way I fell was pretty hard, and it was on the cement, and I fell far. And it kind of tore my meniscus on my right side. The left one's already torn, but that's an old injury. And then when I fell over the doggy gate recently and hit my face, then I hurt my knee again. So it's just a newer, in, you know, tear. So it hurts a lot now, but it'll get better. Isn't this pretty? And look at this bracelet. So this is a vintage piece. It is coral. You can see the whole, you know, like the stock of the coral and they cut it. Um, you can see the little circles of it. Isn't that cool? 
Isn't that super cool? Thank you. Sorry, this light. Oop. There we go. Um, and I believe this is silver, but I forgot to test it. Um, and I don't remember what, I don't remember. Anyways, um, but look at this coral bracelet. And it's got the, uh, etching in there and it goes around on the edges. The coral, now this one's an older piece. See what I mean? How it goes around at the bottom. I love that. And this one is Hallmarked, I think. Yeah, AT. I can't remember who that is. Alvin something? And it says Sterling. So there's that cuff, which I think goes nicely with this. That's why I'm showing it together. It is. It is a very vintage piece. Um... Yeah, and you know, you can't get the coral right now anyways. You can see part of the, oops, host there. Isn't that cool? Anyways, this one is 125 if anyone's interested in the necklace. I hope you can see the beautiful color. You can't find coral like this very often at all. And then... I'm going to sell, well, this will be separate. This one's going to be 60 if anyone's interested. I think his name is Alvin. It's on the tip of my tongue. You, you guys can probably look it up, but AT. And I'll show you. And it says Sterling. And it has the stars. a nice cuff. Anyways, I thought it just looked nice together. You don't necessarily have to wear it together. Sorry, my lighting is really bad. <laughs> so that one's 125. It is vintage and it has two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces of the coral and then two of the turquoise. Maybe if I do it this way. There we go. I love that. It's almost like neon red with the blue turquoise. That's my favorite combination. And that red coral is the perfect thing with turquoise. Isn't that gorgeous? And that is the chain. And I believe it's silver, but I'm just, because I forgot to test it, I am going to say no for right now, just to be on the side. And then it has these beautiful beads in between. Isn't that nice? There we go. There we go. That's the color. Okay. All right. Let's get some other little pieces here. I'm going to put this back in here because I don't want it to get ruined. Um, am I missing anyone's comments? Okay, no. I think I'm caught up. Okay. This is a uh, sterling brooch from Mexico. Um, it is sterling. It's a very large brooch. It is I think it was three inches in length. No, it is two inches and one and a half in height. Two inches across and one and a half in height. And then it has um, some carnelian for the jug. So it's a little donkey, and he's got the little water jug on his side bag there. Side saddle, bag, <laughs> whatever. And the little cowboy is guiding him along, probably plowing. You can see the rope in his hand. Oh! 
sorry. Look at the detail in the rope, his face, his sombrero. I know, the water jug really makes it. Isn't that awesome? This is a big brooch. This one's going to be 75 if anyone's interested. Isn't that cute, that jug? They do terracotta jugs in Mexico. It really looks like it. And then this is the back. Hi, Michelle. I don't know if you could see. It says Sterling and Mexico. It's a pretty big brooch. Very vintage. Um, so this one was probably, my dad thought this was probably made in the late 40s, early 50s. Isn't that cool, you guys? Okay. Um, I'm going to put this one in here. I don't want it to get hurt. And I had some rings pulled aside and I cannot find them. Again, this keeps happening to me. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sure they're here, so we'll go back to them when I find them again. Um, I do have a gorgeous Howlite cross necklace. And it's brand new. Isn't that pretty? So it has a nice big bail that you could put a nice necklace through it. Now this is silver tone here. Let me double check. Yeah, silver tone. But the necklace itself, or the pendant, the cross, I should say, just the cross alone is uh, about two and three quarters, two and three quarters. Ooh, itchy. And it's how light. A lot of people confuse how light with turquoise. How light has a very fine veining. Um, let's see. I don't know if you can see. See the very faint veining in here? That is how light. Turquoise has deep, darker veining or a little bit of host mixed in with it usually. Um, anyways, this one's going to be 15 if anyone's interested. That's the back. That's how they wrapped it. Then, oh, I'm gonna save that. Hi, Davida, how are you? Hope you had a good Christmas. And Happy New Year. I can't wait. I love New Year's Eve. I, I don't do anything, but I like being home and getting a project done. <laughs> I actually don't even like to have people over anymore. I like to get my projects done. That's when I can paint, my do my organizational, pack my Christmas stuff, get all of that out of the way. And sometimes I'll get either sparkling cider or maybe champagne, just depending. I think I'm just going to get sparkling cider this year. And um, they're inexpensive and they're kind of bubbly and good. Um, and then um, I'm going to make myself a special dinner. But I'll see my dad tomorrow too. Uh, so this one is made in Mexico. And it is, I think it's a... Uh, 18 inch and it has a huge bale on it. It's coral and um, silver obviously 
and it is made in Mexico, stamped 925 Mexico. And I can't remember the design of this, but I think I forgot to ask my dad again today when I talked to him. But I think this is called clamper um, style. It's like it looks like it got clamped, like you know, clamped, clamp, clamp, clamp. It's like embossed, um, or not embossed? Yeah, I guess in no, not embossed. It's like indented. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. I focus and here's a beautiful pendant Isn't that pretty um, this one uh, my dad thought was probably from the late 50s early 60s look at that bail this one's gonna be 85 and it is coral isn't that pretty? And look at that huge that bale is. So you could change out the necklace if you wanted to. Isn't that beautiful? So it has a nice smooth um, bezel. Let me pick it up. Then it has the braiding down below. Then it has the oblong beads and round beads that are individually placed. That gorgeous and then it says main two five and Mexico oh wait is it sideways oh yeah it goes like this okay I love coral love it <laughs> okay so here's some of the rings I wanted to show you guys, but it's not all of them. I had malachite, and it was a gorgeous, oh, is it over here? Oh, I found it. Okay, good. Good, good. I, you know what? I did something weird with my hair today, and it's all weird now. I don't know what I did. I kind of, I don't know. Okay, let me show these three first. Where's my mandible? Okay, this is a tiger's eye and silver. It is a size six. And... Now this is my favorite style when it has the um, the leaves in it. Oh, thank you, Francis. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, uh, I don't know if you guys know. You have to do a casting either of clay or um, wax, and you have to carve it to make each of these pieces, like the leaves. That can that takes a lot of time. And then each bead is put on individually. It's in my favorite setting, which is Sawtooth. Isn't that pretty? It's a six, so I'm just going to put up my pinky. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love the leaf. Leaf, I mean. And it's a uh, tiger's eye. This one's going to be 45. Let's do 40 on it. But look at that leaf. That's a lot of work. I don't know if people realize that. But like all of this is a, all of these things that you see like these leaves are castings and they do take a long time. And not a lot of people know how to do them. And it's a size six. And it's silver and tiger's eye. And most likely this one's a Navajo piece. Okay. 
<clears throat> this next one is a size five and three quarters. Yeah. Did they have to recast it, you know, for all the different pieces? That tastes like apple juice. <laughs> Um, now I believe this is Sleeping Beauty in here and it's sterling silver. The technique that they did here is like a double ring and then they put the overlay of the leaf on top of it. Really nice. Um, I can't remember if it was Hallmark. Hold on guys. Where did my magnifying glass go? I just cleaned out my fridge today. And it, my garbage stinks. I, I forgot to take it out. Ugh. No news on Kim. Yes, each leaf has to be cast separately and it's carved. Takes weeks. Um, no, but Barbie said she heard from her daughter, but she didn't get much info from her. So just keep Kim in your prayers, guys. And your hearts and good vibes, good thoughts. Oh, and her daughter. Look how sweet this ring is. So that's the leaf I'm talking about that's over the double rings. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. That's Sleeping Beauty. Uh, let's see, hopefully you can see it. This is a very unique uh, setting. See the double rings? I don't know if you could see that. There are two rings, and then the overlay of the leaf is on top of it. Very unique. A lot of work went into this ring. This one, Gail, I already forgot. It is, oh gosh, six, or five and three quarters. Five and three quarters. Thank you, Pam. Five and three quarters. This one is going to be 45 because of all the work that went into it. The double ring, then the um, casting of the leaf over that. And it's got Sleeping Beauty. Isn't that beautiful? Look at That's my swollen pinky. <laughs> I can't even get it down. Look at that, how swollen it still is from my fall. Oh my goodness. Let me put on this pinky. There we go. Is that beautiful? Uh-oh. There we go. So it has a peak to it in the middle of the band. That is nice work. Nice silversmithing. See the vein down the leaf? That's excellent work. Five and three quarters. Sleeping Beauty. Okay. Next one is seven and a half. Seven and a half. And it's um, Peruvian opal inlaid. Well, it's a stone, but it's like set, set in, really. So, what did I say? Seven and a half? Yeah, seven and a half. And this is a native ring also. And this is Peruvian opal. Now, this opal is expensive. Now, don't think because it's not see-through, it's not an opal. It's, they're the milky opals of the milky family. And Brenda, yes, did you guys get an email from her? Please, God, keep her, and keep, everyone, keep her in your prayers also, Dragonfly. Please keep her in your prayers and thoughts and hearts. Oh, isn't that beautiful? 
And this one's going to be 40 Peruvian opal is a little pricey. And this is a vintage one. This is also a native ring. And Peruvian opal is harder to come by, but when it's vintage, it's more pricey. But it, you could resell this for over double, I would say. Okay. Then... Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. I guess it was Saturday, and I couldn't find the bag that I had set aside. Such a ding-dong. Hey, Diane, how are you? Oh, so heartbreaking. Gosh. Poor dear Brenda. Um, this is an... It's not just a vintage ring. It's more of like a, more of an antique ring. Um, it's pretty old. I would say, well, my dad's, I shouldn't say, I would say, my dad said um, late 30s, early 40s. And it is sterling silver. The technique they used was really cool in how they put the ring together. I'll show you in a second. And it is um, malachite and how they slice it. It's in the quartz form. So... It's not the solid form, but the, you know, clear quartz form. And you could see the striations in it. I'll show you, but look at this ring. Look at the detail on it, how beautiful. There's a rose on this side. Then it has like like a little flower and stem work on each side. Isn't that beautiful? Look at how they did this ring. So they made the actual ring with the oval cutout for the stone. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? And then they did the top part as like a cover over and it's another piece where they put the actual stone in the bezel and it's all it's like the bezel that goes on top of the ring part and then the vining or veins no stem work stem work of the rose and flowers on the side on top of that so it's like three layers so I don't know if you can see against my skin color the striations of, oops, um, the malachite. Let me, let me put a piece of paper in so you can see, because it's kind of hard to show. Hmm, I'll use one of these tags, I think. Yeah, I'll use one of these tags. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up or not, but hopefully. Oh. I don't know if you can see the striations in it, but it's like perfect. Thank you. It's a really beautiful ring. You can kind of see it on its side, the, the line that goes right there up. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Malachite in its quartz form. So it's a few thousand years younger than solid, but it is Malachite. Oh, and the size, I didn't tell you, huh? Or did I? It is a size 6. And this one's going to be $58, if anyone is interested. Hi, Pat. $58. Sorry, I have, it's like my skin oil's on there. 
Oh, I know. It's too small for me, too. I love it. It's so beautiful. Look at that rose. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the, the little um, vines that they put around the rose and then into the other little flowers. Isn't that cool? Okay. Hey, Selena. I know I love green too. This is my mom's favorite, was my mom's favorite color. That dark hunter green. I love it. But it's too small for me. It's very unique. Sorry, you guys. I get so parched talking. Okay. All right, so that's that one that I did not get to show you guys on Saturday, and I kept forgetting, or I couldn't find it, I should say, my bag. <clears throat> now, this one is a size, now this is a very, it's more than vintage, it's more like antique, it's a size 9, um, and it's citrine. Oh, it fits. It's a huge citrine. <laughs> Look at this. And it's prong set. Look how big that is. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? That is an old setting, an old stone. I mean, and, and the stone, excuse me, buddy. The stone goes down all the way almost to the bottom, which is sort of unheard of. Um, when it comes to the prong set, you usually see a very fine point. This practically goes down all the way. I don't know if you could see that. Can you see that against my head? Forehead. Yeah, it's so pretty. Huge. And it's a size 9. This one is going to be $68. I know, Mr. Mr. Pill. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Ooh. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. It's very unusual, the setting, too. So I'm going to swear that for now. Hi, Pam. Oh, hi, doggy. <laughs> You're saying hello to the puppy. <laughs> okay. This little ring is a size, it's very small. It's a size four, yeah, four. It's a vintage ring. It's sterling, uh, crushed uh, turquoise inlaid and coral and uh, citrine. Yes, thank you, Pam. Uh, thank you. And it's all inlaid with silver. It's a tri-split split band, size four. It's tiny. Well, let me take this one off. Tri-split split band. He needs his dishes done. What does that mean? Oh, you want my doggy to lick his dishes? <laughs> I know, huh, Pam? It is. Finally, I get a small ring. Um, so that's a little vintage. Isn't that pretty? Little vintage uh, native ring. And this one's going to be 25. 25. 25. And I can't remember if it was Hallmarked. think so. 25. Thank you. Can you tell my jewelry jar? <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Did I show any fine jewelry? No, I didn't. Um, Pat. Not any fine jewelry. It's been vintage and fashion jewelry, mainly. 
so far. Yes. Okay, this little gem is a little bigger. Um, it is marked sterling. I can't remember if this was Hallmark. I think this one was. Let me double check. not sure if it is at the end of where it says sterling because they put the sterling part right by the band it said by split band and it's turquoise and it's oxidized silver for the base and this one's going to be um, 35 and you could see how thick the um, turquoise is In the sawtooth setting and this one did I tell you its size probably not it is of um it's a four and three quarters four and three quarters a lot of tiny rings lately I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So I think that's enough of this, or that's all of the smaller rings. Um, Now this is a, um, oh my gosh, I always forget the name of this stone. Um, Swiss blue chalcedony. Sw or, gosh, what am I thinking? Swiss blue topaz, excuse me. Swiss blue topaz. And they have, there's Swiss blue, there's all these different um, versions, but this is a Swiss blue. trying to shine it up real quick. Okay. And it's a size 6. Yeah, size 6. And it is sterling. Swiss blue. Topaz. And I can't read it, but I think it says um, sterling. But it, I can't remember if it said anything else. It might say something else over here. 925. Yeah, I got that. I think there's a hallmark, but I cannot read that. Ugh, there's no way I can read that. But it's a sweet little... Now, I didn't clean these stones yet. So you'll have to forgive me, but I will clean them. Um, this is a, a little bit of an older ring. Not too, too old. But it's Swiss blue. And it's a size... Isn't that pretty? Actually, um, Pat, this goes with the earrings that you bought for me, but um, I don't know if you wear a size 6. I know you wear 7. Isn't that pretty? This one's 65, if anyone's interested. 
Look at that color. Isn't that beautiful? Swiss blue. Um, topaz. I can't even think of the other names now. Oh, London blue. Um, I can't think of the other two right now. You okay, girl? Well, there's clear, of course. That's one of the diamond replacements, but I can't think of the other name. But this is Swiss blue. Sky blue. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yep, you're right. There's one more I can't think of. <laughs> Pretty blue, of course. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's the size six. That's literally the color of my dad's eyes. Is that not beautiful? I wish I got his eyes. Swiss blue. Yes. Okay. Sorry. I know it's itchy. <clears throat> this one let me shine it up a little more baby Swiss Baby Sky, or is it Baby Swiss or Baby Sky Blue? Sorry, I'm just um, shining this one up a little bit. My rag. Okay, this one is Sterling Silver. It's a size seven. Double check. Yeah, size seven. Both Baby Sky and Baby Swiss. Okay, <coughs> that's good to know. Um, it is onyx. It's uh, inlaid. Set in, and it sits up pretty high. This is a vintage piece, also. Ooh, a teal color. Gosh, I really love topaz and zircons. Not pretty how clean it looks. Very modern and clean. This is a size 7 with the onyx and sterling silver. It is a vintage ring. And this one's going to be 48. 48. And I think this one is. Yeah, it is marked and hallmarked, or stamped, I should say, and hallmarked. Uh, it says Thailand, and then it says Sterling, I believe. I think it says Sterling and then Thailand, maybe? No. Boy, I cannot read that. But it definitely says Thailand, and Thailand is bigger. It doesn't say Sterling. I think it's the person's name. Yeah. Forty-eight on that one, and it is um, onyx and Sterling. It's a little bit older piece. Kind of looks like Silpata to me, but I know I don't think it is. I'm pretty certain it's not. Oh, wait a minute. Is that, is that what that says? Maybe it says Silpata. I can't read, you guys. It's so tiny. Wow. It's... It kind of looks like it, but I'm not certain. I can't read it. <sighs> yeah. Oh, really? Okay. So 48 on that one. 
might be Silpata. I'm not sure. It's really hard to see because the writing, the stamp is smaller than Thailand. The Thailand one. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. Oh, this is sweet. <clears throat> okay, so this is an elephant pendant necklace. Am I sick? No. I actually feel pretty good. I was sick before Christmas and a little bit... Uh, I was more sick a couple days after Christmas, I would say. I didn't feel too good. Do I look sick? I look kind of washed out on here, but I think it's because... Um, the lighting, I don't know, gosh, I tried to braid my hair earlier today, that wasn't working, <laughs> okay, this is a silver tone twist necklace, it's like brand new, and then this is an elephant, really nicely etched, the detail is amazing, and then it says, I love elephants on the back, and it says, raw cliff pewter, and 1982, and it says something below it, but I can't make it out. <clears throat> I think I'm just kind of still getting over whatever it was. So this is Pewter, the beautiful little elephant. And this is a twist chain silver. It's like an excellent shape. There's no wear on it. Silver tone, sorry. Did I say silver? Silver tone. <clears throat> it does have a little clasp. On the back, it says, I love elephants, raw cliff pewter, and then something below it. Anyways, this one's $6 if anyone's interested for the pewter elephant. I don't know if you could see the etching, etch, etch work. All his little, little crevices. <laughs> the chain's pretty too. And I love elephants too. Okay. We can switch gears. Oh wait, let me show this watch really quick. Hi, Anne. Happy New Year's. Okay, Happy New Year's. May the new year bring you happiness and good health, my friend. Thank you for coming on. I'm so happy you came on. Yay. I know, I'm really excited for the new year. I have a lot of high hopes for it. I really do. Um, this is a, uh, what is it called? Um... I can't read it. Oh, what's that name? No, I can't read it. Um, gosh. There's a name for it. Now I can't think of it. Uh, the eggs that they make. You know, the, the very gilded, beautiful gold eggs. I can't think of the name. And I can't really read it. <laughs> Anyways, it says that, oh no wait, does it? Oh, Express LA, sorry. Okay, this is a different, thinking of a different watch, okay. Um, Express LA Quartz Japanese Movement. It's stainless steel and malachite. Isn't this beautiful? 
I hope everyone's going to have a good year too. I cannot wait for a new year. I always think it brings new hope, you know. So I don't know if you guys can see, but the stainless steel face has a little bit of embossing. It's really pretty. Fabergé, thank you. Hi, T. Um, it's another watch I'm thinking of. This is not Fabergé, but thank you. You got it. <laughs> this is LA Express, and it is the Malachite Chips. So all of this is stainless. The closure. It's really nice. It's got a nice etched um, work to it. Finish, I should say. And all this is the Malachite. It's like a dual strand, double strand that clamps down with the bead and then it continues the double strand. Um, I think I sold that Fabergé watch. Anyways, this one's going to be $20 if anyone's interested. Did I put a battery in this one? Oh, I did. So this one's working, as you can see. Hi, Dawn. How are you? See the little seconds hand moving. And it's malachite. Twenty dollars. And it's just really feminine and pretty. Dainty. Reminds me. I don't know. It just it's very feminine. Now, it doesn't fit me. It'd be really tight. No, it doesn't fit me. So, let me measure it. So, for those of you who have smaller wrists, this would be good. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me measure this puppy. Um, about... We're just going to say seven in... No. Seven... Seven inches, we'll say. So if you were anything bigger than that, because it's a little, it's tight on me. It won't even close. Let's double check. I'm just curious. No, but it's beautiful. That one's 20, and it is, um, it's like in perfect condition. I don't even know if it was ever worn. Um, well, it probably was, but looks in really good condition. Hi, Robin. Yes, Happy New Year's. I'm so excited. So, 20 on the Malachite watch. I mean, maybe you can see it better like this. Okay. All right. Shall we go into some fashion jewelry? I'll show one more silver. Um, this one's a dual, ba dual band. It's sterling silver. It's onyx. It is a size... This is a vintage ring also. And this one is 38. If, no, let's do 35. 35. Isn't that pretty? It's really a modernistic um, setting for its time. Double band. Nice. 35 on that one. Okay. Let me put 
these away real quick, guys. <clears throat> Let's go back to some fashion jewelry. Okay. Oop, I'm put that in there here too. Okay. Now I have some more new jewelry. Nothing on Kim yet. Um, Barbie heard from her. I think it was early yesterday evening uh, from her daughter, but nothing specific. So nothing as of yet. So please keep Kim in everyone's prayers and thoughts. Her family, really. Okay, this is a brand new set. It's stainless steel. And, um, it's earrings, it's brand new, earrings and the neck, it's like a shield necklace, a bib, I guess I should say a bib. And it has a little bit of an extender, oh, about four inches for an extender. Uh, she is in the ICU right now, and so is her daughter. So please keep her in your prayers. Yes. And so this is all articulated, as you can see. All moving, all matching earrings. It is new. Yes. This one's going to be $8 for the set. It is brand new. It's by, hold on, I have the tag here. Oh, paparazzi. Paparazzi, it is brand new. I know you can't see the rose gold, but it is. And it's all embossed. And it's all articulated. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it hangs nicely, like probably right about here. Welcome, Robin. Um, it was 62 here in California. Well, where I'm at, I don't know, Don, what it was for you. Um, but it was 62. Gosh, my hair is a mess. <laughs> and um, uh, there was a little bit of wind, but not bad. It was pretty nice. It was sunny. It was really pretty. I know. I know it. I'm so sad, um, Lynn. I was super sad yesterday. I mean, I'm still sad, you know, but I'm waiting to hear some news. Oh, I really hope everything's okay. So $8 for this set. It does have about a four inch extender. It's brand new. And I think, yeah. The only thing that's silver tone is the necklace piece, chain, and then this is all the bib part, the articulated bib part is um, stainless, and so are the earrings. And it's a really pretty rose gold, but I don't think you could see that with my lighting. $8 for the set. Oh, 62 yeah. Oh, yes. Is that Bear Mountain? Is it Bear Mountain by you? I think so. Okay. Oh, there's the back. I was wondering where that back went. Okay. All right, the next set, let me get some water. Pardon me. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, okay, it's further away. Well, Saddleback. Saddleback, where is that? The grapevine was frozen up? Really? Well, I guess because it's mountains, That's. I guess that makes sense. You've had ice storms, and it's very hard to drive. Not going out tomorrow night. Weather's bad. Oh, yeah. I have to go out tomorrow, but it's the weather here is pretty nice. So I, I have to take care of some stuff. Oh, you can see both? That's pretty cool. I just see the foothills from my house. Um, now, these are brand new dangle hoop earrings. They are rose gold. They're really pretty. Um, brand new. I believe they're stainless steel. Let me double check. Silver tone. Silver tone, sorry. But they're embossed. These are going to be $3. Oh, wow, Michelle. And they're really pretty little earrings. They're brand new. Isn't that nice? That's a good little gift. Um, also, for Valentine's Day, if you have like a little Valentine's um, gift to do put together. There we go. It's a little better. Let me shade it so you can see the rose gold. It is silver tone. They're brand new. $3. Okay. Those are cute. I really like those. Okay. All right, this is what I want to show. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do a little lot here. Yeah. So these are brand new hoops. They are in gunmetal gray. They're silver tone. They're super nice. I'm going to pair it with um, these bracelets that are intertwined that are silver and gunmetal intertwined. I don't know if you can see that. And these are the earrings. This is a very nice set um, of bangles. Really nice. I don't know if you could see that there's one, two, three, six of the silver and three of the gunmetal. They are in silver tone, but it is brand new. So, see how it can be different configurations. Really nice set. That and the hoops is going to be $5 if anyone's interested. And this is a very nice set of bangles. They're like rounded on the top and smooth underneath. $5. I don't know if you guys can hear my dogs chewing in the background. <laughs> Okay. And they're heavy. They're like nicely made. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. Okay. Now here's a cool set. I don't know if it's a set necessarily, but wait. No, that's, that's different. But this is glass. Glass and probably like some form of marble. I'm not sure. Some of them could be, um, some are acrylic and some are actual glass. And then there's some metal beads in here. And then these are metal. This is a really pretty, it's like a antique brass. Some glass beads. Oh, there is tiger's eye on here. Okay. 
Tiger's Eye Glass. Um, oh, I guess that is, that is a stone. I don't know the name of that. I still don't know the name of that. <laughs> um, this is, oh, that's acrylic, yeah. Okay, so the green could be a form of aventurine, but then you have like some antique brass beads in here. Let me just show you. Really pretty. sure if you can see it so uh, let's see these are the beads all of the brass beads here um, these are tiger's eye glass this is acrylic these are acrylic these are like a antique brass Anyways, this one, I hope you can see the color of it, has a really long extender, like an antique gold. Oh, it is by, I think this is Juicy Couture. Oh, it is. Has that crown and, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Has a, I would say a six inch drop extender. And then there's a tiger sign, all that, and the glass. Super pretty. I'm going to say for, oh, wait, what's this? Okay. Um, I'm going to say for this one, are these rose quartz? No. Um, $6, if anyone's interested. It's a pretty mix. I don't know if you can see all of the metals, acrylic, glass, beads, stones. Green ones are stones, the tiger's eye, and antique like brass beads here and here. So six. And it has a really long extender. It's by I believe it's juicy couture. <clears throat> See, so all the metal. And then isn't that pretty? Really pretty. Very nice. Oh, I think I'm missing comments. Am I allowed? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Oop. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Pat. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, Pat. You're just too sweet. <laughs> okay, Pat. I haven't done your invoice yet, Pat, for a while. For like two other... Uh, sales. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to call it Juicy Couture uh, Stone Glass Metal Necklace. Thank you so much. Okay. That is very nice. Thank you, Pat. Okay. Um, I have a couple really pretty, well, let's see, let me show this first. It's a rhinestone. Um, this is an older rhinestone bracelet. All this, the rhinestones are in it. It's a vintage piece. This one is going to be um, $8. Looks 
expansion bracelet. Thank you. Let's do six. But it is vintage. Um, my mom's, all of hers were expansion. Like that. Yep. Ouch. They, they do pinch. <laughs> if you do what I just did. <laughs> really pretty. Okay. I thought I had another rhinestone bracelet. <clears throat> oh, here we go. This is a stretchy. Dead or yellow stones? Oh, like yellowed from where? No. Nope, they're all clear. All clear. And all there. Then I have a, a stretchy one. <laughs> I know, home fam. The stretchy one is stainless, of course, on the inside. Yep. And it's in really good shape. No. This is probably a lot newer. Okay, thank you, Dawn. Let's see. Dawn. Um, we'll just call it Expansion rhinestone bracelet. Thank you so much. And I'm sure Pat says thank you also. This one's stretchy. And it's stainless on the inside. Um, this one's a little bit smaller on me. So I would say if you have a smaller wrist than me, this would be better if you're smaller than me. Um, yeah. This one's going to be five. I know that is so sweet. <laughs> be nice. The puppy is getting irritated with my other dog. <laughs> Um, this is a stretchy bracelet, and it is a stone, but I don't remember the stone. Oh, God, it's on the tip of my tongue. Um, gosh, what is the name of this darn stone? It's, uh, is it a rainforest jasper? I don't remember. It's literally on the tip of my tongue, but it's um, harlequin or a hand carved in it. Some are harlequin cut and some are just a little bit different, but they are hand carved. Isn't that pretty? Now this one, I think fits me. Yeah, so this is a little bit bigger. You could restring it if you wanted, but it is on a stretchy. This fits me nicely. I like when they go a little bit further down. So if you have a little bit bigger wrist, this would be perfect. Look at all that stone. And I'm going to say 12 on this one. I believe it's the Rainforest Jasper. <laughs> Gosh, I think it is. I can't remember. Doesn't it look like it though? Can you guys tell? I believe it is. Oh gosh, I can't remember. Really pretty, all hand carved. So if you have a little bit of a bigger wrist like I do, this is perfect. Hi, Jennifer. And what did I say it was? Rainforest Jasper, almost certain. Thank you, Francis. Hey, buddy, can you get down? Excuse me. I have to write down Miss Francis. No, you're not getting in my jacket right now. It's too early. Uh, let's see. Baby, I love you, but you have to get down, Monchiki. From Pat. Oh, it's so nice. Rain okay, I, I thought so. So pretty. <laughs> Buddy, you're so cute. I love you. Oh, baby doll. 
Boo, 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 stretching. You're so adorable. My baby. My baby. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Little buddy, you have to get down, okay, baby? You have to get down, my little love bug. Get down. Jasper. Bracelet. <laughs> I know, my little baby. Oh, buddy. What you doing, baby? Okay, let's see. Let me put these silver rings away. Oh, ooh, baby. Your breath is a little stinkified. You know that? Your breath is kind of stinky, baby. Why is your breath so stinky? It's stinky. Stinky. Let me do a couple little small lots real quick just to, um, well, just because it's fun. <laughs> uh, get down, buddy. Come on. Get down, my little monkey. All right. So all of this is that gunmetal gray, and then the earrings have black. Now, all of these are brand new. Um, the bracelets, hold on, let me make sure, where my, the bracelets are stainless steel, there's two of them, I put them together, they're the same size on the inside, so this one is that mesh, um, this part is silver tone, but the inside is stainless. Then you have the smaller stainless. I thought that'd be pretty together. I'll show you. Actually, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> like that. I love bracelets like that. Then the earrings is also in the gunmetal gray. These are new also with the little black dangles. Wouldn't that be pretty? Wait. Isn't that pretty? Hmm, hold on. Aren't they so pretty? Dingle, 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 dingle. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that pretty? Anyways, so for the set, it is $7 because these are stainless for one. And they're brand new. And you get the earrings. And it's all that gunmetal gray. $7 for the lot. And they're all new. And all gunmetal gray. So it's like a nice little matching set. Oh gosh, am I missing comments? I only have my one cat. Let's see. Moves into her new house. All the dogs are gone. Oh, how sad so hard not to have a dog. What I'm going to do is go to the shelter and get the dog that gets cats and who has been there the longest. Awesome. Oh, a senior dog. Three dogs. Wow. Says they're a pack and be belong together. That's true. <laughs> um, it's probably good that I'm not home enough to have a dog right now. You'd see me on Hoarders being busted by the SPC for morning. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know. I have, oh, don't even get me started. So seven for the set. These two are stainless and then they're all gunmetal gray though. So pretty. Okay. And here we go. This is a really cool piece. Um, it's very long. It reminds me of 1928, but it's not. And there's another brand I can't think of, but it's very long. It has the Eiffel Tower and the Fleur de Lis. It's so pearl. It has a big glass um, pendant at the bottom. And I think this is around here is all stainless. So you see the Eiffel Tower and the Fleur de Lis. 
This is a glass pendant here. And I don't know all that's in there. I can't see. It's got some French writing. It has like a little rhinestone in the middle. The back is stainless. And then the chain is um, faux pearl. This one's going to be $5 if anyone's interested. $5. It's, I would say, 28 to 30 inches. It does have an extender. Isn't that pretty? Can't even see it all. It's big. And then it's all pearl, faux pearl. Good night, Alan. I know I'm getting so tired too. I'm going to be heading to bed here pretty soon. Thank you. Have a really good New Year's if I don't talk to you. No, I didn't, Francis. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I was in. I was uh, organizing. So I'll invoice everybody um, probably late tomorrow. Or early morning tomorrow. One of the two. Um, because I have so much going on tomorrow for stuff. Personal stuff. Like stuff I have to get done, you know. Okay. Then... <clears throat> Let's see, I'm going to wait to show that to Becky because I know she'd probably like it. Let's see, I showed that. Um, ouch. Ow. I just pinched my skin. How in the world? Okay. So this little bracelet is, let me see, how does it go this way? Um, these are acrylic beads, stainless steel beads, some little uh, Austrian crystals, beads, slider beads, and a little cross. And the cross is stainless steel too, but the bracelet itself is um, silver tone. Yeah, I know I've kind of had a problem. Um, I think I'm having problems with my app, but so yeah, thank you for all of you who got the invoice and paid it. Pat, I haven't done yours yet. And Francis, I haven't done yours yet. Sorry. <laughs> it's a stretchy. Um, really pretty. This one's going to be $4. It's brand new. Okay. All right. Well, guys, I have been on long. Well, not as long as I normally am, but um, I have to get up early. And I'm getting tired. <laughs> I do have to get up really early and get a bunch, a bunch of things done before, um, you know, I don't want to be on the road during those hours of um, the New Year Eve. So I'm trying to get everything done by 6 and get on the freeway and head home by 6 p.m. We'll see. I mean, ugh, I really hope I can get it all done by 6 p.m. We shall see. So I have to get up super early. If I don't invoice you first thing in the morning, it'll probably be later in the evening when I get home. But guys, um... You guys all have a good night, and if I don't, um, no, I'm not going to Reno. My dad's here in town, um, so I'm just going to be hanging out doing projects around the house after I take care of all my stuff, <laughs> and I have some major projects. I like doing that on New Year's Eve. I like staying home, 
So I'm going to get some sparkling cider, maybe some champagne. I don't know. Probably sp sparkling cider, cider because I want to get the projects done. But um, I probably will, I have my little, um, what's it called, chiminea out there. So I'll probably put my little, I have a log that I've had for like two years. So I should just put it in the chiminea. Um, everyone else has people over, so I can, it's so funny listening to the people, their parties, <laughs> and I'm out there with my little glass of whatever, sparkling cider or something, and, um, I usually have the dogs out there with me. Well, not the, not the nugget, she, no, but, um, the puppy will be with me and Lucky, and if they get cold, they can come in, but I, I'm going to have the chimney going and just going to hang out, come back in, um, after midnight and continue to work on my projects, you know, so I know I'm really <sighs> adventurous, aren't I? But I have to get these projects done because once they go back to work, I'm not going to have any time. So I got to get them done. Got to get them done. So that's my, that's what I always do on New Year's Eve. <laughs> So, guys, I hope you have a wonderful New Year's. I'm missing some of your comments. Uh, yes, everyone have a wonderful New Year's. And stay safe. Try not to be on the road if you don't have to be because I know it's really dangerous here. So, I'm going to be home probably by 7, hopefully, and off the freeway because people start drinking and, you know, driving. So, guys, thank you, everyone. Um, I will invoice you. Early morning or late after, late later evening tomorrow. Okay, guys, I will see you all later. Thank you for the thumbs up. If you haven't done the thumbs up, please do it on your way out. I appreciate it. <laughs> Bye, guys. I forgot to have, <laughs> have to end it here. <laughs> Good night, Michelle, Francis, Pat, Don, Jennifer, everyone. Left on here. I don't know who else is on here. Susan. Uh, I think that's it. Well, there's other people, but I don't see their name on here. Bye, guys.